Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video on my channel. So, Kevin. Bro, what are you doing? Hey! Motherhood. So yes, this is the first tanning trials that I've done in quite a few months now, just because the summer was coming up. I didn't really feel like tanning. I wanted to go outside and get some real sun. And then also I realized I haven't done one in such a long time that I actually have a lot less skin to show you guys for before and afters than I used to. That actually sounded super creepy. I meant because I got like a bunch of tattoos. Kevin, man, no respect in this house. I got a bunch of tattoos like in between then and now and let's just say a lot less skin. So anyway, in today's video, we are going to be talking about the revolution fake tan. That's right, you heard it. If you didn't think that this company could branch out and do something even more than what they're already doing now, they came out with some fake tan. And that is what we're talking about today. So this is the Revolution Glow Self Tanning Foam. But yeah, this has got pineapple extract, coconut water, and tropical summer fragrance. So yeah, they've got the tanning foam for your body. Then they also came out with some glow drops as well. So these are tanning drops that you mix into your moisturizer that you use on your face. These are buildable. It's on the box for this product as well. It actually tells you how many drops equals what kind of tan you can get. So I'll pop that on the screen now just to show you. Also, the range has this tanning brush as well. Apparently this is supposed to be for all over your body. However, I think I'd actually pass away before I finish tanning my whole body with this because the brush is so small. So I only use this on my hands, feet, neck, and face. Unless I'm being an absolute massive weeb, I didn't actually see that there was a tanning mitt to go with this, which I thought was really odd. I'm feeling like I'm swaying more towards the fact that I just completely missed it. Like I was looking and I did a man look and just didn't see it. Revolution as a brand is usually known for like quality products at a not super expensive price. So this tanning foam, I got it in the shade medium to light. This retailed for 10 pounds. Yeah, it did, it retailed for 10 pounds. I was checking myself then like, is that is that right? I don't think it is. Yeah, so tanning foam retails for 10 pounds in the UK. You have the light medium shade, then you have dark and then you have ultra dark. I went with the light medium shade just because I wasn't just a straight up medium. I just decided I was gonna apply like a couple of layers and kind of like build up to the medium. And then we also have the Revolution Glow, Glow Tanning Drops. This is the buildable one. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E in it, which is supposed to be really great for your skin. This retailed for 12 pounds. And then you've got the Revolution Glow Brush and this retailed for eight. So before we jump any further into to this review make sure if you haven't already that you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and turn your notifications on to be told every time I post. I'll also pop on the screen Instagram, Twitter and TikTok just so you can keep up to date with everything I'm doing. I also pop on my Instagram stories when I post a new video so if that like notification thing on YouTube isn't working for you which sometimes it doesn't you'll also find out from there. So I'll pop on the screen each of the products so you can have a really good look at them. So the tanning moves, this like I said retailed for £10. Got a really nice bunch of ingredients. You'll supposed to leave this on for at least six hours so I left it on all night long because I'm not about to get up in the night to wash off my tan absolutely not especially not on a school night when I've got to get up for work mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. very simple design for this you've obviously got the glow packaging as well as the pump on top next up the glow face tanning drops I used this in my normal daily moisturizer I believe I used the ordinary one did four drops into that and then mixed it all in rubbed it into my face and down my neck a little bit I decided I I wanted to go with like the medium kind of option. I obviously want to go a little bit extra for you guys so you can really see what kind of difference this product makes. I didn't want to go light and just be like, oh yeah, I think there's a slight difference, but I'm not sure. I went in. Okay, I went in. The brush as well, the handle is very lightweight. I think it's just made of plastic, but the bristles for this are super soft. Like I could not stop touching it. They feel amazing, really high quality. Considering they're only eight pounds, I think this is a real bargain. So next up, we're gonna talk application. So I started off first of all by doing the tanning drops onto the moisturizer and then apply it to my skin first, just cause I thought I didn't wanna disturb the body tan when it came to like merging it between my face and my neck and then applied the tan tanning mousse to the rest of my body. The drops mixed in with the moisturizer kind of went into a weird consistency. Like the more you apply into the moisturizer, the weirder the formula gets, if I'm gonna be honest. Like it went a little bit lumpy. You just have to really rub it together in your hands. Wow. My hands sound so dry. 
You can start with fire over here. That's actually quite hot. Rubbed it between my palms, as you can see from this motion. Obviously, my hands will be closer together, but I'm not out here trying to start fires right now. And then just evenly spread it across my face, just how you would do a normal moisturizer. Try not to miss any bits or anything like that. We're literally mixing it into a moisturizer. You know, if that isn't easy enough for you to do just in your nighttime or morning routine, like I don't know what is. Also, this smells amazing, I must add. And the dropper is kind of like a weird shape. It's like slightly angled, like it got a little bit like bump and then just folded. So yeah, applied that into my skin. It does say you must definitely wash your hands afterwards because otherwise you get orange palms and that is not cute. Okay, it's just not. Now, going on to this bad boy. So first of all, can I just say that this smells amazing. Oh my, I just... It smells great. I don't know what it is. It must be like the pineapple extract because I smell many, many products that have coconut water in them. They don't smell as fire as this. Like this smells great. So yeah, I gave it a good old shake before I applied it and then pumped it onto the mitt. The foam looked pretty good. Like it was quite thick. Tanning foam is tanning foam in my opinion, but it's just how it applies onto your body. So the actual guide layer itself when I started applying it, first of all, incredibly smooth, very easy to kind of like blend into your skin. I didn't have any streaks after I'd like buffed it into my skin it was completely gone like I didn't feel like oh I might need to go over this area just to make sure it's completely covered like go over it a few times didn't need to do that at all super glowy smelt like I said amazing I can't express to you how good this smells like mental just melted into my skin like an absolute dream the side by sides that I was doing when I applied it to like one side of my body versus the other on my arms it didn't look too like intense but you could definitely see there was a guide layer on there the guide layer as well color wise was slightly more more on the like golden like bronzy side rather than the olivey kind of side so this kind of matched up with my summer tones of tan it was more on the bronzy kind of like warmer side rather than the cooler tone like olive side it didn't really take that long to dry either like I wouldn't say it was super ultra quick but it wasn't like oh my god I'm gonna have to fan my arms to make them dry probably like by the time I'd done my first full body application of the tan my body was like completely dry I could have put clothes on then and like carried on my day because this is the light to medium shade I wanted to kind of get a bit more of a color payoff from it so I did go in and apply a second layer onto my body so as I mentioned earlier this tan it needs to develop on your skin for at least six hours and as I said I'm not one for waking up early or in the middle of the night I left it on for about a solid eight I think I get roughly about eight hours sleep a night and I wash it off the next morning and the guide layer rinsed off really nicely. There weren't any patches that were like missing or anything. The tan was super even on my skin. The only thing that I will say is that I was very conscious of my own scent. The first day after I washed off my tan, I did really kind of smell it on my skin. It wasn't necessarily like the biscuity, like cheapy tan smell, not like that. It's just, I could smell like a certain scent on my body that did kind of smell like fake tan very lightly. So yeah, the wait is over now, the before and afters. I know this is the thing that you guys live for. So yeah, this is my body before. And this is what it looked like the next morning after the tan had developed and I washed it off. It wasn't as warm tone as I was expecting it to come out like just because it was very bronzy. I was worried that maybe if I applied too, too much that it would come out a bit orangey. But there was no sign of an orange tone at all, which I'm super pleased about. Didn't stain my fingernails or toenails at all because at the minute I'm just going bare because I'm just giving my nails a break. So going about my week, I applied this tan on Tuesday and it's now Sunday, the 15th of August is at least five days now as you're seeing this and the tan actually held up really well I did forget to moisturize like some of the days in the week just because I was having a stressy and depressy week yeah it's like five days in and I'm still glowy so I'm very happy with that also the brush was amazing to apply product onto my hands like I, I didn't have any clinging to the dry parts of my body like my knuckles my hands wrists knees ankles elbows were also perfect you saw right down my t-shirt then so if you think you saw armpit hair mind your business so yeah super good really enjoyed the tanning foam I would definitely try it again and I would recommend that product I think as well if you're somebody that's starting out with tan this is a good place to start because it's a quality product I enjoyed it it's also very affordable it smells amazing please just go and smell it even if you're not gonna buy it now coming on to the facial tanning drops 
glass bottle, we love it. A pipette, we love it. However, this is what my face looked like before I tanned it, and then this is what my face looked like the next morning. Yeah, doesn't look like there's a lot going on there, does it? It kind of looked like my body had a different head plopped on it because they were such different tones. But to be fair to it, it didn't cling to any patches on my face. My face felt very hydrated once I'd washed it and got out of the shower and stuff. So in that respect, the product was pretty good. Hyaluronic acid is amazing for dry skin as well, so that probably helped quite a lot. So yeah, was slightly underwhelmed by this product to start off with. So I decided the next day to give it another go and I reapplied some of the tanning drops into my moisturizer and reapplied it to my face again. Left it on overnight and then went to have a look at it the next morning. And I have to say there was a bit more of a glow the second time, but they do say on the bottle, please remember to wash your hands afterwards. And this idiot didn't. My hands slash palms were just super like orange and because my hands are so dry they were kind of a little bit patchy so yeah honestly i was very blown away by the tanning foam just due to the price of it it's like probably one of the cheapest if not the cheapest tan i've ever bought and i'm very very impressed with it i'm not gonna lie to you it's great i love it so these two are a yes i'd probably give these a solid like eight out of ten product wise however the tanning drops i was slightly less impressed with i think i need to give this another go and try and find a middle ground for how to to use it this is a buildable product though so maybe they want you to start out a little bit lighter and then build up but by the time you've got to maybe the level of tan that matches the rest of your body it's probably time to remove the rest of your body tan and start again so yeah, that was my tanning trials review on the new Revolution Glow tanning range. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up so I know it really does help me out a lot. I'll also have links to all of these items that I've shown you today within the description down below, along with my social meds. So if you haven't already, please make sure you follow my Instagram, Twitter, and my TikTok to keep up to date with what I'm doing. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure you subscribe to this channel. There'll be a link on the screen in just a second. And do not forget to turn on your notifications to be told every time I post so you don't miss out on a new video. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm really sorry if you could hear loads of like hamster noises in the background. Kevin's just on a mad one today. I don't know what is going on with him at the minute. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye guys. <laughs>